Hi everyone, it's Pokemon Rose season of Pokemon TC Live, Deck Profile, and yes, this is a Lugia deck, but it's different, okay? Lugia has dropped off the meta, and I think it should be still in the meta, and I think it's an amazing card. Tempest Dive, 220, yeah, it's great. Get rid of Stadium, good. So in Star, you can bring back two Archaeopsis, powerful your Pokemon, that's great. You know why? Because we aren't using Regigigas V Star. Alright? Regigigigigas. Yeah, that's right. 230 for three energies. So you can knock out Entei, you can knock out uh, Iron Hands, it can knock out Roy Moon. Because 230 is starting to be the key number where you need in this meta. 300 HP. Alright? We don't need to worry about the ability because we will be using Summer and Star. And the reason we're using this is because one, it's a massive beat stick and it makes it harder for like Maraudons and stuff like that to knock it out. We're also using Snorlax, which with his unfazed fat is immune to effects of an attack, hinting Roaring Moon, Frenzy Gelgin. And we can do 160, 180, depending on how we want to power it up. And it's a lovely beat stick as well. Uh, we are using Lemillion, only one, because we are using two Professor Burnett's. Mew EX, which we can do G Home hacking and the restart. Copy and attack, bomb, you're dead. And then we are using, which people are start, didn't start really, I don't know why they stopped using it, Dunsparce. If you know you're playing against a Maraudon deck or you're playing against something that's going to possibly use electricity or fighting, Put this down straight away. None of them have weakness. So your regular Gigas don't have weakness. Your Lugia don't have weakness. And neither does your Snorlax. Right? We are using, of course, we've got some Lost Vacuums. We've got Caption Roma, Great Balls, Clap Stadium to get rid of the Lemillion. Three bosses with very aggressive. Two Burnettes, Researchers, Resolve, Everything Therapeutics, Gift, Jet, the lot. Full deck list in the description below. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And please comment down below if you think Lugia should be still in the top meta. And I bet any money in the next regionals, there will be a Lugia in the top four or top eight. Watch out. See you in the next part. See you then. Right, so Lugia. A lot of people might not watch this because it's the Lugia deck and everyone's going, oh, is it dead? Is it dead? I don't think it is. And I think people have been worried about playing it because of Maraidon. But the thing is, there is a card that stops Maraidon one shot in your Lugias, which is Dunsparce. A lot of people don't use it, I don't know why. But Dunsparce makes sure that your normal types have no weakness, which is very good. So Lugia isn't weak to electricity. Snorlax is not weak to fighting, and my Reggie Giga Gigas Giga Gigas Reggie Gigas isn't weak to fighting either, and it's 300 HP, and it does three energies, 230. Oh yeah, 230 damage, which is the magic number at current meta at the minute. So, oh. Let's see what we get from. We'll burn it first. Get rid of one, two. And we have got the Reggie Gigi Gus. Reggie Gigi Gigi Gigi. Right, let's have a look. There's a Snorlax. That's not what I wanted. Okay. Uh. Right, I'm going to have to get rid of one of my jets. I didn't want to get rid of one of my jets, but I'm going to have to. Right, just so I can get the Lugia down. And I will not attach for turn. I am just going to leave it. If you're going to take something out, take out my Snorlax. It's only one prize. It's fine. I have two more in the deck. 
Now, unfortunately, I did have to get rid of an extra jet. I like having the jets. The reason we play a load of jets in this deck is that we can, if we've got regular gigas in the active and we want it swapped out, we could just attach and apply. Now, I don't always like using the jet energies in uh, when I'm using my Archaeopsis because then it helps. Um, I know I will be top drawing at the minute, but with what I've got, it should be fine. Now, this. Wait a minute. Have you used that? No. Right, okay, so you've used Chase Up. Okay. Okay, so we're going to use Sun Moon Star. You two down. Put you on. And then we're going to start powering up. Uh, for it there we go right so we've got the therapeutic i'm gonna put jet gift and another therapeutic on this norlax right so there goes eradicate that's good um They've got one coming, which is a problem. Right. Now, I wanted to put a gift on the Snorlax. So, if they do knock it out, we will get to draw. So, it's not too bad. Now, this will do... There's Eradicate. You've attached, so you can't do nothing there. Boss's orders. You... Have you got something to swap out? Instant charge. Okay. Okay, this radicate could be the problem. Could be problem. Could be problem. Okay. Okay. We'll put just the jets. We're not going to waste energies. We are not going to waste. Oh, wait a minute. What am I doing? I could have just done it then. We're not waste. Oh, never mind. Uh, what we got? Double turbo and that. We got a gift. So it's going to have to be a jet. I do want to get rid of the jet, but I'm going to have to. Right. Okay. So we're going to do Tempest Dive. Take three prizes. That puts us at three. Okay, so two, three. Bosses orders and a research. That is great. Now, we will need to get rid of this Radicate. 100%. Because as soon as they attach an energy to this, they can do their Super Fang and put 10 HP on this. They are going to poison both of them. And that's then going to be a problem. Now, at the minute, they haven't got another Radicate Radicat down, Ratata down at the minute. So they're switching out into the Absol. Okay. And they're switching back or leaving it. Boss's orders. You. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So... Mm hmm. I've got a boss's orders for you. Then I have to. You put a gift on yourself. Because I don't want to waste the jet in my hands. 
Now I will use the full H full attacking thumping snore. The reason is is that in case I can get that they bring up the Roy Moon, it's a problem. So now they are way behind now at the minutes. Now Snorlax, a lot of people have said, oh, the colorless version is done. This, this, and that. I'll add earthly vessels and stuff like that. Yeah, that's fine. But is it consistent? Now, having colorless helps. We have got one water energy. Don't forget, we have got one. We've got one earthly vessel. If we need to find it, we can. It's just there if we want to get rid of our Lumineon. The reason I put only one Lumineon in is because we're using two Burnettes. Uh, Professor Burnett. So it's not a problem. And as you see, look, you only need to use one. Now it is going in March, end of March, when the new set comes out, the new rotation, it will be gone. And I think, what else will be gone? Honkaboo will be gone. The swing else that's going to be gone. Don't be used. Dunsparce, which is the problem. Because Dunsparce protects our um, Snorlax, our everything from weakness. Um, and it does really work. We just need to get it down. So we've got, and we don't forget, we do use two vacuums in this deck as well. We are using vacuums. The reason is, uh, if we want to hit, say, a Maraidon and it's got a Bravery Charm on it, knock it out. If we want to hit an Iron Hands and we're using Ricky Giggers, Ricky Giggers, Ricky Giggers, um, and it's doing 230, we can knock it out. Uh, it just helps, especially against our boy Moon, stuff like that. It can help. And we don't forget, we are playing a lot of single prizes as well. Um, we've got Mew, we've got this, we've got that. We can just keep chipping away, playing the single prize game. And don't forget, um, Iron Hands can't knock out this Snorlax. Now, I will put... Do I want another Lugia, though? Mm. Do I want to get rid of the jet? Do I need anything? I don't think I really need anything to draw. I don't really need anything. Um, what have we got in there? Just a Lumillion. Yeah, sod it. I'll put a put you on. Uh, we'll just do a thumping snore at the minute. We just don't need to do anything. We just need to knock everything out. We don't really need to. So let me know what you think so far as this deck. Now, I am contemplating about adding an extra Basic V and V-Star of Reggie Gigas. Because the 230 version, hitting hit 230 with that, really adds... It makes it a little bit easier, and it's 300 HP. So there's only a few Pokemon that can knock it out. Raikou, even Raidon's going to have trouble knock, trying to knock that out. Um, so it's only like Raichu, it's Chimpao, Roy Moon. What else? What else could knock it out? Uh, um, uh, Charizard, if you've taken enough prizes. The Fire version of Charizard EX could do it for 330. There isn't really a lot more that can actually knock it out. Um, and if you put a Dunsparce in, it can't even be knocked out by weakness either. So you, we are covering the bases there. And this person is, it is going to lose. That's it. Right, so. We'll see you in the next match. So, second match. Wah! Let's go. Um, now what do we want to go for? Still don't know what we're playing against. So, Mr. Broken Spoon. Are you lot Alakazam? Caption Aroma. Is it a Lugia match? Are we playing Lugia match? <laughs> oh, that'd be fun. Look at that. He's a beast. 240 HP. So, if you did. 
eight. Well, for each damage cut on this. So if you had 200 damage on this, it would do 300 damage, but then it's confused. So that's interesting. Now, this looks like if it's got a pokey stop, then it's going to be. Yeah. I weren't expecting the caption aroma, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, don't get me wrong, I do like this art of Leon V. Uh, okay, they passed. That's good. Okay. Right, we ain't got anything here. Let's see if we can get rid of some stuff. Oh. Mm. could have got everything he gives. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So we could go you and you. I definitely should have just gone for that play. Yeah. Okay, so we need to get the gift. Research. Okay. What we got in the minute? Um. Okay. Right, that's all I could really do. I shouldn't have done that pokey stop. I've misplayed there. I'm lost a Riggy Gigas and an extra Lugia and a boss. Oh, this would have been really ideal against whatever we're playing against. I still don't know 100% if it is a Chimpel or not. I mean, it's got a figure back, so it's going to be, isn't it? It's got to be. I mean, they're getting these energies in there, so they're probably using Polkia. They've got Ice Rider. Is that Ice Rider? Yeah, it's Ice Rider. Yeah. So you are looking for Frigger Backs. So they haven't set up yet. So they haven't set up either. And we've barely set up ourselves. So I will do Burnett first. Okay, and then they're going to go Chimpao, Shivery Chill, two more energies, so we definitely need to knock out this Chimpao, so I can't put anything else bar, uh, yeah it's a boss, that's that, that's that, so we need to do you first, yep. Okay, and I know I've got the Giga Gigas in there. So let's do Mesacosa first. See if we can get something here. Cool. Alright, Caption Aroma. Yeah. Don't really need any of that. Uh Well, then Lugia would be good here. Probably would be, yeah. Okay. Let's see if we can find Gigas. Look at that. Just in case we want to throw it away. Gigas. Not that Gigas. That's fine. We get all these out of the energy, out of the pile. 
Okay, so we have got the you. We can go Summoning Star. One, two. Okay. So we're going to put the Jet on you. Then we're going to go. We've lost the Therapeutic, haven't we? So we're going to have to go one. One, two. We need you and you. I've used you. Got to use you now. And we need to hit Therapeutic and a double turbo on you. And I'll charge up the gigas when I get it. And we've still got a boss as well. So we are going to do Tempest Stars and we are going to get rid of the Mesogoza. Just so they can't use it because it didn't help us at all. Right, so we've got two fighters. This is the ideal you want. A lot of people are, have, have watched and listened to people that are Chimpal players or anything else who go against Chimpal. People like go, oh, go after the figure backs, go after the back Skelebag, keep going for that. You're going in odd prizes where if you go for the two prizes, you go from six to four and then four to two. Normally, by then, you've got a boss's orders, boss up another Chimpal, knock it out, bomb, you're done. Doesn't matter if they keep charging up the Chimpal, just keep knocking out the Chimpals to get the two prizes going. Now, they're going to get rid of this Lemonion, which I really aren't happy about if they do, because I want to kill this Lemonion. <laughs> because it's an easy two prizer, uh, even my Snorlax can knock it out. Um, so yeah, now I am going to go Ultra Ball, Archeops, Lugia, Riggy Giggies, and I'm going to attach a Jet Energy to it, then do so forth and so forth, and then have fun with my Giggies. Now, actually, I might save the Jet Energy actually. Hmm. I need to swap it out. Because mm. it can't attack the next turn, though. That's the only problem is you have to get it out. Or get it back. Right, so they're doing that. Are they... What they're going for? They're going for the Green Ninja play. Okay, fair enough. They can put damage on the Archeopsis. They can put damage on the Lugia, on the Snorlax. Can they do the Snorlax? I don't. And yeah, there. Okay. Now, should we actually go for this Green Ninja though? That's the thing. Okay, uh, we need to get rid of that. We need to get rid of this. Uh, we'll put a gift on you. And we are going to... No. I'm not going to juice it up yet. I'm going to have to take the Greninja out. The reason is, if he does another Greninja on this, it's a problem. It's going to be a problem. Now, I have got Rurega Gigas, so it's not too bad. They've still not pulled out a chimp out. Now, either they've prized everything, because a lot of people are only playing two chip, two, three chimp owls, which I think is a mistake. I know people go, oh, use heavy ball. Um, but finding your heavy ball, because normally you can use it either, either a, re a reader for rare candy bat 
you're not going to use it for your heavy ball to search. So having the extra Chimpao actually is more beneficial. If you're going full on Chimpao, put four in, please. If you look at my ultimate Chimpao deck that's coming out, I think Friday, um, where we're not using Pokestop, no more Pokestop. I think it's bad. I don't like it. I think it wrecks. It's, it's, it's not up to you what you're doing. Um, I don't think it's fair. So comment down below. Which one do you think? But please let me know. Do you think Lugia is still meta these days? Because I still think it is. Okay. So. Uh, we can put gift on you. And 161 now. Uh, Yep, we can put it on there for that. We'll put a therapeutic on you. So we can hit full numbers on this Vegas. gigas. Uh, and we're going to do boss's orders. And we're going to tank out this Lemleon so we can get better prizes. Then we only have to take out one more Pokemon. And they are brown bread. Right. Yes, they can attack with the back Skeletor, but they got one card in the hand. You know it's over. I know it's over. They should know it's over. I'm sorry, Mr. Broken Spoon, but it's over. You're not going to beat my Lugia deck. Not anymore, because we've got some muscle. I mean, look at it. It's literally dragging an island. It's dragging an island, really. And I haven't actually had to attack with a regular Gigas yet, so I'm going to do it right now because I want to. 230. Giga Impact. Bye bye. And I'd love to see them try and knock that out. Well, they could with Jim Powell, but still, you know what I mean. There's the Clap Stadium I wanted. Anywho. That is the deck. The full deck list is in the description below. Don't forget to hit that comment, uh, like, and subscribe, and all that jazzy stuff. And I will catch you on the next video. See you.